NPR star Howard Bragman. Hollywood spin doc Howard Bragman. PR guru Howard Bragman. My pal Howard Bragman, vice chairman of Reputation.com. Look at PR in the dictionary, you get a picture of Howard Bragman. We all have a public image now, and if you don't manage your public image, somebody else is going to define you, and you're not going to be as happy. If something bad about you is online, there's no statute of limitations. It's like herpes. It's something you have to live with for the rest of your life. Who the hell is going to take advice from this woman? Looking to her for relationship advice? That's the Ava Braun kosher cooking show, right? <laughs> you can't swing a dead cat in this town without hitting a red carpet at a charity event. Get off your ass, Paris, and show up somewhere. You got more people on the panel today than saw her last movie. Most people come to me as a PR person, they say, I'm really good, here's my reality, but people don't know I'm that good, my competition gets quoted, so I up their perception to equal their reality. But sometimes perception exceeds reality, and that's called hype. Celebrities are putting their information out there, and you gotta be really cautious. All press is certainly not good press. Sometimes it's best just to shut up. In the new book, Where's My 15 Minutes, a Hollywood publicity guru spills the beans. Hollywood is the Olympics of image management, so what I wanted to do was take what I've learned over decades and decades in Hollywood and share it with the average person who wants to get ahead in this world. Let's bring in our ad expert, Howard Bragman. Listen, each side's going to have close to a billion dollars. You're going to see good ads, you're going <laughs> to see bad ads. They're going to throw everything and hope something sticks. The election isn't a national election. It's an election happening in Virginia and Ohio and Michigan, all states that have really benefited and gotten more jobs. Bragman is a celebrity publicist and expert on fame and crisis management. There's a lot of humiliation to go around. My heart really goes out to this family. That's where the real damage was done, and I hope they can keep and it together. And what does Robert Pattinson do now? He doesn't say a thing about it. He goes on, he smiles, and he promotes the movie, and he makes a personal decision at the right time. Like any doctor, a spin doctor has to take the pulse and we have to go in and say how bad is it you got to tell me why john mayer is down again is it really because he's been seen out and about with katie perry it's really because he's been seen out and about with every attractive single woman in hollywood between 25 and 45 and they're just not buying it anymore one million moms is part of the american family association which is considered a hate group by many there's a lot of people who put their hate opinions on email it's people writing on a bathroom wall why Watching Chaz Bono dance is not going to make your kid transgendered, but what it can do is possibly save your kid's life. Kids with gender identity issues have a huge suicide rate, and if they see one positive role model, this can save lives. There's this myth out there that a really good PR guy or crisis manager can fix everything. I can't want to fix it more than she wants to fix herself. Somebody said to me, where do you think Lindsay will be in 10 years? And I said, one of three things. She'll either be forgotten, she'll tragically be dead, or she'll win an Academy Award. Acting out is worth a lot of money. Acting well isn't worth anything. So when they quit acting out, the interest goes somewhere else. They lived in a compound. 17 people could live there and not see each other. He was off being governor. She was off doing some amazing work on women's issues. Even in 2008 on election night, he was campaigning for McCain. She was campaigning for True, Obama. They've right. always sort of relished their independence. You got this beautiful young Hollywood couple. And to their credit, they've been together three years. At that age, that's yeah. kind of a lifetime. And I'm just going to say this month, my parents celebrate 63 years together. And my mother was 18 when she got married. So I wish them as much success as my parents. You know, we're talking about Michael the performer, and I want to think about Michael the person. He was somebody's son, he was somebody's father, he was somebody's brother, somebody's uncle, and I want to express my condolences because he was a man who loved and, and got love in return. There are plenty of talented young actors in Hollywood, but Heath was on par with, say, a Marlon Brando and his acting abilities, and uh, he has a wonderful body of work he leaves behind, but I just keep imagining the body of work that would have been in future years for him, because he always was courageous. If there was an easy way or a hard way, Heath took the hard way.